I'm Andy. I'm Melissa. And I'm Jack. And together we've spent the last year restoring our steel sailing yacht. Over the last year we've done most of the big metal work and welding. Most of the painting. And over this winter we're working on whatever jobs we can fit around the terrible weather here in North Wales. Once she's ready to float, we'll be setting off to sail around the world as a family. Come along with us on this epic journey. Hi everyone, I'm finally back at the boat. Um, I just wanted to start this episode by saying a massive thank you to everyone who um, left us loads of supportive comments last week because obviously we weren't feeling the best. Um, Unfortunately, Andy's still ill, um, so he's at home, so it's just me. I've come to check that um, Melody's okay after all the storms that we've had. And I thought, while I'm here for the day, um, I would see how many little jobs I can get done in a day. (laughs) So the sun is shining, but it's really windy, so I'm not going to be outside. So it's going to be, how many little jobs inside today can I get done? (laughs) So I've been sitting here, drinking my cup of tea, having a look at this, the board of doom. (laughs) Everything that needs doing. And I found um, a few little jobs that I think I can do. And I'm going to start by um, repairing, I think, repairing the bulkhead between um, the forepeak and the heads. So what I'm going to do is uh, repair this bulkhead. Well, finish fitting. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm finishing this bulkhead because there's still a big gap that goes into the forepeak. I've also um, disconnected all the wires that were going through here into the forepeak. Um, what I need to do when I put them before I put them back is put a multimeter on and test the switches to see which ones do do what. So as you can see, there's um, a big gap to repair here. So I measured all this out, but then I realised that my measurements were flawed because this isn't straight. So I've done a straight line and I'm going to do it again. Just time to see if it fits. So, moment of truth. Will it fit? Fits. Okay, so I'm gonna glue these two bits together and then I'll put um, a joining piece here just where the glue sets. This is all going to get covered anyway with plastic, uh, waterproof, UPVC shower type stuff. So I've got my glue. I'm going to run, um, not like that, but I'm going to run some glue along here and I'm going to glue these at the bottom to the two bulkheads together. And then I'm going to use this as a temporary um, uh, can't think of the word. I'm going to screw these two together while the glue dries and then obviously I'll have to remove it because it's in the, be in the way of this pipe. So I decided that um, open plan living is all the trend so why not open up the bathroom and the forepeak? <laughs> pleased with myself I also chamfered this so it goes with it fits where the hole tapers in Looks 
like one piece of wood, pretty much. There you go, that's all. So what I'm going to do next is I've got a bit of um, teak veneer knocking about. I'm going to put it along this strip here. Um, I need to get a bigger bit to do this wall, but I can I can repair this with the bit of teak that I have. So I've got this piece of teak veneer which came from somewhere else in the boat that we've replaced. Um, you can see it's got some marks and stuff on it but once we've wire, wall, wire walled it all and put some teak oil on it it will look lovely. There's no point in throwing it away. It will still look nice. That's that bit done. Next job is the lights because it's getting a bit dark in here. Take this plasticky light off and replace it with one with a USB socket. So I've disconnected the lights here. So on this side I've drilled a hole and popped a mouse line through there so I can attach the cable. What's a bit confusing on these lights is the black is actually a positive, is the positive. That's obviously why I'm joining it to the red and the white is the negative but it does it does say it on there but just make sure you read it if you buy these right so moment of truth we and we got a little usb socket in there Right, so I think that's me done for the day. I am going to stay and I am going to carry on tomorrow um, so there'll be more fun stuff um, but I'm quite happy. I've got these lights up and I've also made this little shelf which is kind of a, a proof of concept um, but it means I can plug my phone in and obviously eventually it will have like a little uh, fiddle round there um, and I've got the light on the other side in a little shelf there um, and obviously the bulkhead has been repaired and the teak put on so to be continued tomorrow so today I'm back in the head um, I've got to cut out the a bit of the floor section and also cut out the bottom of that bulkhead that I repaired yesterday below where I've repaired um, just to expose some metal work and some pipes and see if I can start tracing those. What I need to do is cut out this bit here um, just to access this stringer and around um, this seacock. Um, the reason being is when we got the boat this was the grey water tank had overfill, overflowed and this was all full of grey water that was sat on that stream. 
absolutely reeks. It does. I can't. It smells of blue. It doesn't smell of blue. It smells like stagnant water. Hey? Okay, good money for this as part of the boat. <laughs> Nice um, stagnant water. So we've got a good system going on. And he's pumping the bilge into the toilet. And Tim's flushing the toilet. Oh, it's a duck. Oh, it's a duck. 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 It looks okay, but we want to get in there and take part of this bulkhead out at the bottom just to inspect it all and there may be a bit that we need to cut out and replace. Well, that's a scary but good machine so I know it looks a bit messy um, but as I said this is all going to be covered up anyway so I just need to cut out this section of floor so we can access the, the bilge area here right so this, I've managed to get all this bit of floor out, which is the bit that I wanted to. It all looks fine with sawdust on, obviously I've got to clean it up so I can assess um, the stringer down there because it's quite, there's a bit of scale on it. Um, but also the purpose of taking this out is to get this um, standpipe out for the toilet, which is, they're a really good idea actually because they raise the seacock um, to above the waterline. Well, I think they're a good idea. The only issue, I guess, would be as if they leaked down here. Um, but either way, if your seacock's failed, it's it's above the waterline. Um, but we may um, move them, or we're not 100% sure yet. But they're currently here. There was one here which was actually blanked off because that one's been moved to under the four peak bed. Um, but this one still goes to the outside, which I'm just going to finish taking off. So that's off, I can get the hoover and then have a look at this stringer, um, we'll see if it's even still there, it looks quite scaly. So I'm just going to chip away at the rust and just have a little look um, and see what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to go mad, I'm not going to sand and grind and everything, but I'm just going to chip away and sort of give it a bit of an assessment. I need to hoover up and clean here, um, but I think the stringer looks plenty beefy enough. It doesn't look like it's lost anything. Um, I think there's probably, we're probably gonna have to cut out around um, the skin fitting, but we, we knew that we might have to do that. Um, but I'm gonna clean up all around that skin fitting with the needle gun, and then I'll bring um, back the ultrasonic thickness tester just to double check. Um, but there, there's a there's a bit of scale there, um, but we'll we'll see. It might need cutting out, which we knew that we probably would have to do. But we'll see. I'm gonna get one more job done, I think, before I go home. Leading on from what I've just done in the head, um, I need to expose the grey water tank. So currently, I'll just show you. There's a little hatch on the floor to get into the grey water tank but we know we're definitely going to need to do some rust treatment under there so what and it needs painting out and everything so I've got to make a bigger um, hatch here um, so I'll show you what we've previously done here in this bilge so this bilge only had these 
these hatches but we've cut the floor out and then it can get screwed back down to the stringers so I'm going to try and do exactly the same to that floor That was a bit of a mission, but hang on, I'm shouting at you. But the main thing that we wanted um, was obviously to access this so we can clean it all up, assess the concrete and everything. Um, and also, I'm gonna st <laughs> also we want everywhere in the boat to be able to lift up the floor so if there's a leak or anything, we can access and inspect everywhere. Um, and with a tiny little hatch, you can't do that. Obviously, these will, the bigger hatches will be bolted down. Right, so the original um, layout plan for the plumbing on this boat was there was a shower tray inside here in the head and it drains straight into this here um, which also the water from the anchor locker drains in there's a pipe that runs down in, into here so when the boat was laid up um, there was probably a it was probably just a little bit of grey water in here we have cleaned and scrubbed this and everything um, but by the time we got her, the grey water tank had overflowed. Obviously, um, the water was running down the hawser where the chain goes, um, also into this bilge, um, and the bilge pump was blocked up with hair and disgusting stuff. So that's caused a bit of a problem in this area, so we knew about that, but the concrete itself seems fine. Um, the sides of the tank seem fine, which is really good. Um, obviously the surface is a bit monkey but it's 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 solid so that's the main thing now i'm just working out what these pipes do so this one here i'm gonna see draw a diagram and everything and work out what we need to replace they're probably all going to get replaced but the main thing um what we're going to change here see we'll redo all the pipes is putting in a sump pump thing um, i want to see if it fits We've got this uh, whale grey water tank with a built in pump in it, and I'm hoping that it will go in here so then we don't have to have the grey water draining into the bilge because that's just disgusting and smelly. So that will be in here. The shower water will drain in here and then get pumped out. Um, and then underneath that will also be um, another bilge um, pump. And then we can remove that to inspect the metal um, when, as and when we need to. That's just from this perspective. And that's the little tank that I've just popped in there to see if it fits. But that's much better access to that area. And the floor, most of it will go back on here and be supported we just need I'll just need to put a um, support across here just to support that corner where it goes back in but I'm really pleased with that right so that's me done for um, this week um, what I've done is I can move a few little post-it note thingies um, I fitted the goosenecks I can go over there uh, I cut out the floor section in the head and I've repaired the bulkhead between the head and the forepeak. I've started teak veneering the bulkhead, I've, I did that strip um, but I've got the main bit to do in between the head and the forepeak. 
and I've also started assessing the rust uh, ready to repair um, in the, the floor in the bathroom so that can go there um, oh and I cut out the lower bulk head uh, between the head and the fore peak and cut the floor out for um, to access the grey water tank and lastly I started tracing the water system and I've drawn a little diagram for that so that can go there so there's lots of jobs moving over to the done section which always feels good um, so as always thank you for watching um, and commenting and liking our videos um, we really enjoy reading all the comments so carry on doing that we love it <laughs> um, and we'll see you next week bye bye thanks so much for watching remember you can follow our instagram and facebook pages for news and updates you can support us on patreon and coffee and you can get our new sailing melody shirts and merchandise by clicking the pictures under the video or clicking the links in the video description and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel click the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up we will see you very soon andy melissa and captain jack <laughs>